Saki's newly developed unique inspection technology assures measurement performance and data reliability in M2M connection. Saki's AOI and quality-driven production are major components to the success of the Smart Factory. Welcome to the Seika booth today at Productronica. Uh, delighted to be joined by Luca Corley, who's the sales director. Nice to see you again, Luca. Good morning, Trevor. Thanks for inviting me again. Okay. So, lots to see here at Seika, as, as always. Um, but uh, today, we're introducing the next series, uh, which I think goes across all of your brands. Uh, so, can we talk a little bit about the next series uh, and uh, uh, some of its features? Sure. The next series is another step ahead uh, into the future. Uh, after celebrating our 30 years anniversary last year, we want to innovate again, uh, if possible, and it's possible, the market test. So we're introducing new products. Uh, the first one, the most important probably, is the one we have here. Uh, our uh, brand new flying probe, uh, Pilot V8, uh, with eight probes, uh, a double side architecture, but completely renovated, completely new, with new performance and new features as well. Okay. So the, the, the new performance, uh, what, uh, what extra performance can it do? Is, I believe some of the other pins uh, can all be live at the same time, yeah? That's correct. Uh, our philosophy is to automate uh, the test more and more because everybody is looking for automation, you know, the industry 4.0, smart factories, etc., etc. So also a flying prober able to power up the board, for example, should be fully automated. And now we have new probes uh, able to source more current, so we don't need any more any extra cable, any fixed cable to do onboard programming, to do boundary scan and to power up the board because each of the eight probes can source more current and power up the board. Then we also have a new uh, feature, let me say, a new mini fixture, a kind of a probe handling 10 little probes or a connector that can fly over the board, double side, so you can have one on each side and go to be connected to the board and do onboard programming, boundary scan test, or source multiple power uh, for the same board. So this would be for what, special devices uh, that are in special locations? or That will be for most of the boards, uh, you know, uh, at the test time uh, they need to be programmed. You need to download the firmware into some devices. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Flying Probe is now able to do this with a full automated solution, without the operator plugging manually any cable, any uh, extra additional tool. Everything must be automated and done without the operator servicing the machine. Excellent, well, that's quite exciting. So, you've got quite a, a few new products on, on the booth, so let's move on to the next one, which is um, a bed of nails tester, uh, which, is, uh, which is actually moving as well. Uh, can you explain that? Yeah, um, most of our customers are looking to move quickly from the manual solution to the automated one. And uh, some of them, they are not able to build up a full automated line. So, how to automate a manual tester? Through a cobot, for example. Uh, a robot that is collaborative with the humans, so a, co uh, the, uh, a robot that can work together with a, a human operator because it's safe, because uh, there are no issues about security of the person, and the cobot can do the job or the boring job of the human operator, loading boards, unloading boards, separating pass and fail, good and bad starting from an existing machine, which is manual, which was serviced before by an operator. Now, we've seen quite a few examples of these cobots coming into factories where they're doing the boring work, as you say, and, and, and the worker who was doing that is going on to something that's more interesting in the factory. He's yes. not actually losing his job. He's no. actually going somewhere. The goal uh, is, not to, is yeah. not to take the job of the operator. The yeah. goal is to use the brain of the operator yeah. for something smarter. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Okay, so um, another... Uh, unique product that you brought out this week is a laser soldering system for selective soldering. Now selective soldering is typically done by wave or mini wave. Yep. Why do we want to use a laser? Because uh, this technology is probably the only solution when uh, you have a difficult object uh, mm -hmm. to sold, to be soldered. Uh, for example, there are boards that are already into a case, mm -hmm. so you cannot send the board uh, through the automated line uh, to a, a wave soldering or a mini wave soldering because the board it's into a box 
or partially into a box, or where you have uh, access which is difficult to be done by uh, a mini wave. If you need uh, very accurate precision on your solder joint, then you can send a laser spot. Okay. So the concept is use the laser because the laser is accurate, is clean, and uh, is very quick on doing something. So, so it's not replacing the, the, the mini wave system, it's, uh, it's for devices that have got plastic enclosures or something around it or a sensitive device around it that uh, where you need accuracy accuracy and clean process right because okay. there is basically no maintenance you change the wire feeder and you are done okay great so look i mean a lot of the machines around the show are obviously working in uh, or are starting to be programmed for smart factory communication etc it's a must it's a must. So I see you have a new system here uh, that links up uh, Seiko machines. Can you explain a little how that works? Yep. Uh, all Seiko machines belonging to the next series are uh, equipped with an embedded Seiko product that is monitoring the status of the machine. So it's not an option, it's embedded. Every Seiko machine talks to a server and every Seiko machine is communicating real time the power consumption, the temperature, the humidity, and all other main parameters. What's the purpose? Is not only to be compliant to standards that are coming on the market, is to predict when the machine needs maintenance. You don't repair the machine when it's broken. You prevent the machine is going down by monitoring, for example, uh, abnormal temperature. The temperature is rising up. You can say, hey, something happened to this machine or if you see an absorption of current or a different power voltage, you can understand that something is going on and you stop your line before it's too late or you do maintenance before it's too late. So if you see something drifting out of spec, uh, do you then send motors or belts ahead to, to that manufacturer to, to re replace it before the machine breaks? First of all, we can send an alarm. The machine itself, of course, uh, you can have a text message, you can have an email, or you can just have uh, uh, an alarm onto the machine or on a monitoring uh, screen. And then, of course, the action is depending on what's the type of the alarm. Yeah. But the goal is to monitor in real time what's going on in your automated process. Look, as always, so much going on at Seika. It's, it's uh, fascinating to see it. Uh, thank and thank you for sharing it with us today. See you next time. Thanks. Okay.